Okay, today we're going to be doing a spiral swipe and it's going to be on a six by six tile using colors that I've used recently. So when we get down to the tile, I'll explain to you what we're doing and we'll get right into it. This is indigo or blue black. This is cobalt teal. It's inter uh, Artelier Interactive. That's golden. This is supernova and this is golden peach. So they look very similar. This is a gold undertone. This is a blue undertone. Next to the blue here, it's going to be phenomenal. So you have to take my word on that. Uh, I'm going to keep it simple today. I think I'm going to do a, do a swipe. And I'd like to see how I can get my cell formation to be consistent. So the cell formation is what everybody tunes in for. So let's see if we can get right down to it. I'm going to talk occasionally through this one and I'll bring you in at the end for a flyover discussion. This is by Paint Spreader Paddle, uh, all around uh, great, uh, great uh, paddle to use for my cell activator. Cell activator today is going to be titanium white, lamp black, or this might actually be carbon black. I want on top, I want the black. And so I'm going to put the black down first because when I flip it over, that's what's going to be on the bottom of this. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to just put it in the middle, flip it over, put it in the middle, and pull it out. Now you can almost see, almost see the reason I did it that way. That's all of my, all of my cells, especially in the dark areas, you can see that they have a light outlining. I'm going to just let this develop a few minutes. I'm going to see if I need to do something more. I got some pillow cells over here. Doesn't bother me. Got some over here that with the color that pulled out from this side. So it's a, it's a tricky, uh, tricky technique in only one sense uh, if you overstretch it or if you you fiddle with it too much you lose your center but I do need to bring it back over this side because it's way on that side so I'm moving it this way
Now, with Tricky being set already, I should addend this to the fact that this is a very approachable technique. Once you have your, once you have your Sheely art uh, uh, consistencies down, doing this technique is actually a lot of fun and a great way to practice how hard you put down your, how hard you push down for your, uh, for your cell activator. You do something here that I don't like to, but I've got bu bubbles and I need to get rid of them. Should be okay, because I'm not staying in any one place too long. Soft spin. Oh nice, I'm getting some pink in the middle that is showing up, I like that. Okay, brought it out to the side, almost equally on all, all three, on all four sides. So, now I just need to spin it to get it to open up just a little bit more. These are soft-ish spins. What looks like it's really dark here has a lot of black cells going on. You'll see more of those when I bring you in for a close-up. Uh, so I think I'm about at the point I either want to do some modifications and to break up the pattern or just go with it. The more I spin, the more the pink and the peach is going to start popping up. You can see the peach along here. You can see the supernova, the pink in the middle showing up. And you can't really see it from this point. But you also can see the switch from the, uh, the with the supernova from the pink to the velvet blue. So here we go. Let me see which way do I want to go. Let's go this way. At this point, I am spinning to start moving paint off the tile. Love working on tiles, folks. I've said it in the past. I'm take another, another medium hard spin. I look at, like looking at working on tiles because it's a nice substrate, nice firm substrate. And you can get a real good idea what's your what your cell activator is doing and how your layering is working without having any other factors involved. So this white pillow paint over here, those cells, they don't bother me. Okay, some people hate them. Okay, just, just taking care of my corners here to make sure the paint will go over the sides. Now, looking at the paint, I can tell you, I know what's going to happen when I do this. I'm going to the center, center of the paint, the, the, the uh, tile, and I'm putting, pushing down. And you can see here that my paint depth is not bad, but it's still, I think it can go a little bit more and get rid of a little bit more paint and maybe get take care of these corners at the same time. So this is going to be a hard fit. Let's see how we did. And that made a lot of difference right there. So, in essence, 
I would call this one good. Let me take you in for a closer and we'll do a flyover. Kind of hard to see in this light, but I did get some beautiful, some beautiful uh, cell work in there. Some of it big and juicy. I didn't get a lot of little ones, maybe out towards the end. Let me take you in for the flyover. I'll be right back. I love the cells with this tease. Uh, they're big, they're juicy. I even got some in my pillow paint, which I'm okay with. Uh, it's probably not an ideal feature. If I were using this for a piece, I probably would eh, reconsider, but I'm okay with it for now. Uh, so I want to thank you very much for being here today, and I hope that you got something out of this. Next up is going to be my Thursday train video with uh, Just Janice and art by Julie E. So please turn on, tune in on Thursday, and Friday's video is part of a collaboration for Valentine's Day. So make sure you tune in for that. It's an early one, it's 7.20. So I wanna thank you very much for being here today and hope that you got something out of this. As usual, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and tell your friends about it, uh, these videos. It helps out a whole lot. So until next time, bye for now.